Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to perform any of the video AI motion capture for any of the humanoid 3D avatar in your Blender 4.1 3D animation software. Now you can see at the left hand side, this is a video. It can be any video that you had captured. And at the right hand side, this is Blender. This is Blender 4.1. And this is a motion capture by using the original video that you had captured performed by the AI. So start from now, I'm going to show you all the step-by-step -step how to make this. All right, if you love the 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing tutorials, you can just go to the bottom, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also turn on the mini bell and select all to turn on the notifications so that when next time I publish the new videos tutorials, you receive the notification immediately. All right. If you love the Blender, you also can just go to my website, freedom3d.art. I already uploaded a lot of the tutorials and categorized it systematically. You can get any of the Blender resources and Blender tutorials, Blender assets from my website. Alright, let us start from the beginning of this tutorials. Before you start, you should have a video. Alright, you can see this is just a video sample. You can use your camera to record by your own. You can ask your friend to help you to record a video that you want to perform the motion capture. It is really easy. Just use a camera or just use your mobile phone to get a video in MP4 or any of the compatible, any of the compatible formats, it is easy. All right, this is the first step, and the second step, you should already have a 3D model. Just for example, I have an FBX 3D model. You should prepare a 3D model, which already ready for animations. It already fully read and. You can get it by creating by your own or hire someone to make a 3D model for you or just go to search a free 3D model and for any of the FBX formats that's already fully rigged. So now I have a video, I have a 3D model. The third step, just go to my video descriptions and click into the first link, get the 3D post tracker. Right. Once you click into the link, it loads my website. You can just scroll down at here, the 3D post tracker. You can click the second link here to download it. It is a free software for you, or you can just download it from their official site. But the official site is the Japanese site. I can't read the Japanese. So to take it easy, you can just download from here. This is an alternative way. Once you already get it, it is a zip folder. You have to extract it into your computer. Now, just get it ready. Next is the Rococo plugin. You can just go to my video description, click the second link to install the Blender's plugin, the Rococo plugin. Right, this is the official site of the Rococo plugin. You can get the Rococo plugin from here and just follow it step by step and install the Rococo plugin into your Blender. Now I show you the Blender. In my Blender, the Rococo plugin is already installed. So when you press N, you should be able to see the Rococo plugin is ready at here. So once it, it is already done, just stand by your Blender. Now I close the Blender first. All right, the next step, we are going to perform a video mockup for the video that you have captured. So just open the 3D post tracker. The 3D post tracker is a free mockup software to perform the motion capture for your video. Now, just follow here the step by step. First, just click the source and click the video then click the file to load the file it is on my desktop i double click it now it already loaded 
the source file, the video file. Now you can see the source image here. Just maintain it at here. Do not switch it off. Do not close it. Next, we are going to perform the motion capture in BBH format. So before that, you just go and create the upper mode here. Make sure here you take the full body and then use hand tracking to track the hand. This word included the fingers tracking. All right. So once you already finish this step, then you can just go and export. Click the exp export. Then click OK. So at here, you have two types of the format. We choose the BVH. And for the blender, the FPS is 24, so you can switch it to 24. By default, the blender FPS is 24. Then, T-Post at the first frame. You can just make sure it is T-Post at the first frame. Next, we are going to start recording. The first step, click the start recording. Second step, click the start. Alright, just follow this, it is easy. Now you can see it is already start to record. Now this is a video more capped, the AI video motion capture. And now you can see it is recording now, it show as the red buttons. If you want to stop the recording and save it, you have to click this button. So now, once you already feel satisfied, just move your mouse cursor here and click the the recording now it will stop immediately so now i click it now this is a prompt to save the mockup in bvh format and as demo i'm going to save it on my desktop the file name i'm not going to change it just take it easy i click save now it is saving a bvh file and here you have to click stop right now back to here you already have the BVH, you already have the Blender, you already have the Rococo plugins, you already have a 3D model. Now, everything will begin in Blender. I'm going to open the Blender, and for today, the latest version is Blender 4.1. Now, next, at here, I press A to select everything, and press the delete button to delete all the unnecessary props and lights, camera, etc. Next, I'm going to load the 3D model, or if you already have a 3D model at here, it is even better. This is an FBX file. This is just a sample 3D model. I click File, Import the FBX from my desktop here. I double click it to load it. Now you can see this is my 3D model. I turn on the texture and check it. And next, just I just perform a really simple material setting right I want the alpha clip so that the opacity is loaded now this model is ready and I set one more it's the roughness I don't need it to have the light reflections right once done already just click the skeletons click here open the viewport display to show it in front and show all the name now See? Now every skeleton you can see the name. Next we are going to import the BVH file into here as well. So I click file, import BVH the motion capture BVH. It is on my desktop. I choose and select it, click import. Now you can see the BVH is already here. I click and I click here to make sure I have the gizmo, I move it to here. Just make it separate so that you can see it clearly. At the same time, this is this BVH file is just a skeleton. I click and I turn on the viewport display to show the name and sh just show it so that you can compare the skeletons, the bones name. Every piece of the name, every piece of the bones, what is its name? You have to make sure you get to know it. For example, the left lower leg is corresponding to left knee for both skeletons. The corresponding, you have to make sure, let's say, the hips, 
hips, the spine, spine, the chest. Sometimes the name will be different. This is just for you to have a look. Next, press N and click Rococo. The Rococo plugins, you have to make sure you already install it. Right now, you press N to call out the Rococo. Then click retargeting. And here we are going to retarget the animation. So now, the source just click and pick the skeleton. Then the target just click and pick your 3D avatar. Your 3D humanoid avatar here, just pick it. Then click build bone list. Now, at this part, this is the most important part. You have to make sure for each of the bones, it is select at the corresponding bones. For this side, it's the source, your BPH source. And at your right hand side here, this is the target you have to refer to here. Make sure it is match for each of the bones. For example, the head is corresponding to the head bone here. If it is wrong, you can just click one more time and select the correct bones. Right. So, at here you have to just check it one by one. Make sure every finger, every piece of the bones are read are selected correspondingly to make sure it is correct. I scroll down until the end, just check it one by one. The right upper leg at here, it is corresponding to right leg at here. Make sure it is correct. So you can see some of the empty parts because of, of it is finger and as demo, I just don't go and pick it because I just want to show you ex the in general, the, ex the, the idea on how to retarget it. So I assume that everything is already match then scroll down until you can see a retarget animation. Before you click the retarget animations, you have to make sure you move it back to the origins. You click these bones and check. You can see location X, just now you already move it. You can see location X is moving. You just need to make sure that it is back to zero and press enter. Make sure all at, at the origins, then finally you click retarget the animations. Now it is retargeting, just wait for a few seconds. It is retargeting from the BVH to your 3D humanoid avatar. You can see once you once the mouse cursor already back to the normal, that means it's already done. Then you can just unseen the motions, the, the BVH. Then create the skeletons. Make sure you hide it first and just have a play. Before you play, just go and set the FPS. You can set the FPS at here. Then scroll down to find the FPS. Where is the FPS? It is at here, the frame rate. Just now, when you record, it is 24, so you choose 24 at here. Make sure the FPS is match. Now I try to play. All right. You, you can see after a few seconds, it starts just because of all right, you let it sync first and click. You just make sure that at here you expand everything. And then the start, you can just just make sure it is start from at here. Then it end up at somewhere. This is the play range. Then click back to the origin. Click play. Now everything will start from here and you can unseen it. Unseen the armature. We just want to have a check on the animations. Right, you can see this is exactly the motion capture just now from the original video. We can just compare it. Right, so I click here, I compare, I play, then I here I play. Here I just make the start to be earlier so again 
I try to play, and here also play. Now you can see it already retargeted. So it is really awesome, it is really easy. This is just a video motion capture performed by the AI. And now finally, it is already in your blender. In your blender, the AI, it already retargets that in any of the 3D humanoid avatar in your blender 4.1 3D animation software. At this stage, you can just make everything perfect. You can re-edit it and render it as a video as a 3D animation and publish it. It is really easy, really awesome. All right, that's all for today about my tutorials on the AI video motion capture by using any of the video and make it as a 3D animation for any of the 3D humanoid avatar in Blender. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like the 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing contents. And turn on the mini bell to turn on all the notifications so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!